Check, 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 not too much. <laughs> hey, well, welcome back to the Sunny Side. <laughs> I'm Sunny, and this afternoon we're gonna play our flutes. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> hey, Babita, what's up? I hope you're having an amazing day. For those who don't know, most of these videos are shot live now, so if I am start talking to some of the sunny siders, it's because we're live and they're chatting away. All right, quick quiz. Quick quiz for all the new flute flautists out there. The Okay, before we begin, hey Gloria, I hope you're having a super amazing day. We're just going to play through some of the flute exercises today from one of the beginner flute books. So... First things first, hey everybody, what's up? Please subscribe to the channel. A lot of people are going to be watching the videos at home or a little later. So this is all going to go on the sunnysidemusic.com website. There's a link in the description box. I hope everyone is super cool with it. Oh, I got to pull a Twitch, Twitch up here. One sec. Twitch. All right, let's get down to it. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Remember, it's always a beautiful day to be beautiful. And it's together that it's a beautiful day. Hey, Gabe. Hey, Audrey. I hope everyone is super cool. Oops. All right, let's do it. So today, I'm going to spend the next little while uh, creating a whole bunch of videos for uh, beginning musicians. Oh, yeah. Flute's awesome, Gloria. This flute here was donated to the channel from from Karen Zed. Karen in Seattle bought this flute for me. I super love it. It was on my Amazon.com wish list and I really love it. I super, I, like I dig it. I just dig this flute. It's been a while since I, I've really been played professionally, but I'm having fun now. I'm in the Tita. Anyways, for those who don't, let me get down to work here because it's going to be on a video and Anyways, there's a video, so fast forward this one, guys. I'm going blah, blah, blah with the sunny siders. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so a lot of, you know, when I owned the studio in Vancouver, a lot of musicians, you know, a lot of adults studied with me. It's a lot of pro musicians studied with me. And a lot of beginners studied with me. A lot of conservatory students. A lot of students. You guys know me from way back when. And uh, for those who have been with me for a long time, you'll know my, um, you know my background. And... Anyways, in the last year, I sold my music studio and I moved back to Toronto. I'm now in Toronto and Montreal, and um, I'm teaching privately in Toronto and Montreal. I split my time in both cities now, Toronto, half the week in Toronto, half the week in Montreal. And uh, if you want private lessons, just let me know. You can contact me through the sunnysidemusic.com. It's in the description box below. And uh, in the meantime, Let's get, let's get out there and rock. <laughs> let's enjoy stuff. Remember, so please like the video. Please uh, ask your questions. Go away. Go ahead and ask your questions. And definitely uh, tell your friends. Restream it on Twitch if you get a chance. And donate to the channel. Please donate to the channel and help support the channel. I'm just going to answer a couple of questions before we get to the music. And I'll tell you what's going on. So to Gloria. So Nisha, thanks Nisha. I super appreciate it. So, and thanks, Audrey. Gloria, flutes don't have to be expensive. This flute isn't expensive. Well, Karen bought two of them. Because, <laughs> like, it was really nice. But I love it. I know. And when you get, just get it adjusted, you know, the keys are, flutes are, you know, they, they have to get it adjusted. You'll love it. And, you know, we'll get together and we'll jam on the music. I'll tell you what programs to get, what books to get. And we'll, we'll just do it. For the first little while, I'm going to play through, I have a bunch of beginner books. I'm going to play through all the beginner books. And then later on, I'll play the, through the conservatory books, the exam books, because it's difficult to find music for the exam books, uh, for the exam. And um, I know that a lot of my students are always looking for, you know, and, and we play along with, with a lot of people. And so uh, it's tough to find. So I'll record it for you guys. And not just you guys, but I'll record the, the stuff for my students. All right. <clears throat> Before we begin, begin. Oops. Pop quiz. Pop quiz. Pop quiz. Flute. Is this a flute? Are you sure? It's blue. 
it's straight. Sonny, can I play in the band? Yeah, we. everyone can play in the band. Thanks. It's a flute? No, it's a whale. What about this? Flute? It's blue as well. <laughs> flute? No, this is Templeton. He's a producer here on the show. <laughs> flute? 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 <laughs> no. Flute? <laughs> Do you play it like this? <laughs> no. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'll stop goofing around. <clears throat> the only adults watching the show right now, but calm down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <clears throat> For those who don't know, that's on your history exam. That's part of your music theory exam. Instruments of the orchestra. <laughs> music 101. Templeton's hanging out in the background. Templeton produces the show. Definitely gay. Tempe's awesome. All right, enough. Enough. Let me calm down and get to the charts here. All right, let's do this. Let's play through it. <clears throat> This is my Sunny Cider here, my little Sunny Cider. He plays, um, he plays sax. Just to show you guys something before we, before we move along too far. This is the SunnysideMusic.com. You can see the URL. Oh, one sec. Let's wait. Up. This is the URL up here, the SunnysideMusic.com. This is me. Some of the stuff I've done in my days, and this is my old studio. I'll show pictures of the new one soon enough. This is us right here, beginner flute jam, the standard of excellence books, and flute lessons will be here, clarinet lessons are up, you know, recorder lessons, goes on and on and on, do do do, all the different lessons are being posted here, and all the ukulele jam stuff, that's the sunnysidemusic.com. In addition to that, I have another website, which is uh, called The Sunny Side, for those who don't know, I'm also a professional astrologer. I write for some newspapers and um, I'm also a master hypnotist. I'm quite popular as a hypnotist throughout. I've been featured. And anyways, if you want to know more about me, you'll see it here. You know, this is back uh, in Vancouver, jamming with one of the bands in Vancouver. I used to be a studio musician, play with a lot of people. Some of my old TV interviews, uh, when they used to ask me different stuff, some stuff I did for Watchmen. It was a long time ago when I was young. And finally, here's our store. This is the Astro Side. And this is where you go get cool sunny side gear like this. And I want to see everybody on the sunny side, all the young sunny siders, the 2.0 crew, the new sunny siders wearing these really cool t-shirts. All right, enough business. Let's get down to work. So once again, this is the sunny side. I guess I have to put the store here on the website. This is the sunnysidemusic.com. This is where you go to find out more about uh, studying music with me. All right, let's rock. Let's do it. So today, <clears throat> here we go. Let's pull up one of the books. Today we're going to play through the standard of excellence, the beginning, first 10 lessons. We started, uh, we did essential elements, we've already done essential elements, now we'll do standard of excellence, flute, time for band, <clears throat> all right, let's do it. I think this one is going to be easier on flute. The last time it was tricky on flute. Essential elements is tricky on flute at the beginning. I think standard of excellence is going to be okay. All right, here, let's begin. Before we just, before we run into it, rush out and play anything, let's have a look at what's going on. The first note is D. So check it out. The first note is D. This note right there is D, and it's high D. Well, it's middle D. Let's call it middle D. Middle D. And on the flute, it's open, close, closed, close, close, closed, and the thumb. That's middle D. 
and it's right there. It's the second line from the top. It's right there, <laughs> middle D. <clears throat> so it's, so we put them all down, right, on the flute. We skip the first hole. Then we go to the second one, or it's key. This, I have a number of different flutes. This one has close holes. We skip the first one, we play the second. Then we skip the next key, and it's two, three. And on the back, we put our thumb on the keys in the back. Ah, uh, very cool, Janice. That's extremely exciting. I saw the pictures. I like them. And then in the right hand, we, from the bottom, it's three, two, one. And that's it. Now that's low D. The note we want is middle D, and that's the first finger is up. So low D, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. From middle D, first finger comes up. And just take your time making a sound. You know, you can't do anything if you're fighting the instrument. So make sure it's not leaking. Make sure your lips are nice and relaxed. Make sure, you know, to dry these days, make sure your lips aren't chapped. And just make sure you're covering all the holes if you have an open hole flute. And just squeeze the lips and blow. Just as a reminder, I'm putting your flute together. This bar goes right down the center like that. Some people make the mistake of putting their flute like that, but that's no good because your baby finger is shorter. You're not going to be able to reach the key. So, and it doesn't go like this. That's weird too, because then you can't like your baby finger got to go like some weird kind of thing. So it's on an angle just like that. And it's like that so that your baby finger can push the key down. And when we hold the flute, the baby finger is down for almost every note, and we have to be able to hold the flute in one hand. Alright, so that's the deal. Here we go. Now, middle D is two, three, one, two, three, and the thumb. Fingers up. later on. Everybody ready? Can everybody make a D? D. Everybody got it? All right, let's see if we can play it with the band. Maybe I'll tune up my the flute and see how my sound is. Wow, I'm way sharp. So pull out a little bit if you're sharp. All right, let's we'll leave it at that. All right, here we go. Let's slow it down because it's a sound exercise. Sound exercises, we want long notes and sound exercises. <clears throat> here we go. D is up. <sighs> All right, everybody ready? First exercise in the standard of excellence books. Let's do it. Crank the volume. Instruments up.
Where's my phone? Oh, my tuner is way over there. Let's check this out. I can't believe how sharp I am. There's like no way. Let me grab my tuner and check this out. <clears throat> All right, let me just grab my tuner and see how we're doing. What? sharp holy smokes usually you want to warm up a little bit before you tune but holy smokes I can't be that sharp Do it again. Here we go. Right back at it. <clears throat> one. D. Two, three, one, two, three, and the thumb. Let's do it once more. A little slower. I know sometimes you think faster, but no, we're playing it slower because it's a sound exercise. All right, let's try it again. Hey, black sheep, what's up? <clears throat> I hope you're having an amazing day. I hear you. <laughs> I hope there's a rain again there in a broken house. <laughs> Next. C. Alright, check it out. C is C should be okay. So the next note is C. Going down, C is like this. So this is let's call it middle C. It's not really middle C, but let's call it middle C and it's right there. It'll take a while to get everything sorted out to figure out the names and everything, but don't worry about it. C on the flute is one finger, open, 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 baby finger in the right hand, and no thumb. And it's like this. <clears throat> so baby finger is down in the right hand because that's how we hold the flute, and then it's just first finger and that's C and you have to be able to hold the flute like this so you can play it all 
All right, have a great day, black sheep. We'll see you later. Have an amazing day. Everybody cool? See? Now to make a sound on the flute, it's easy. We just put the lips together and blow. Try and create as small an opening as possible and just blow. Some people say smile, some people squeeze your lips, purse your lips. And just put the lips together and blow. You know, the muscles around, create as small an opening as you can. Some people think the lips go across like this, like this, but they don't. The squeeze down, the muscles go, mm, the muscles go down on the flute to make the note. All right. Anyways, that's C. Oh, thanks, Tammy. Tan May. I apologize. I just can't see. My eyes are, it's a little blurry. Thanks, Tan May. I super appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. All right, guys, here we go. Once, let's slow it down. Nice and slow, stretch. Breathe, stretch the back. Oh, all right, here we go. <clears throat> C. Relax the lips. <laughs> Gloria wants to know what the good benefits for what are some of the good benefits for playing the flute. Well, there are some great benefits. Ah, oh, thanks, Roger. Hope you're having a wonderful day. There are great benefits for playing the flute. First, it's all the first, just first, very simply, uh, it's the breath work. There's to stay young. You know, one of the things people do to stay young or retain their youth is breathing. And there's a special mantra that you're supposed to breathe to, you know, to rejuvenate yourself. And But it essentially, the mantra boils down to breathing in, holding your breath, and breathing out slowly. And it's... That's that's one of the mantras, you know. I don't know if it's one of the Tibetan breathing exercises or South America or, you know, First Nations exercises in North America, but like, one of the mantras for longevity and rejuvenating the body, the mind, body, soul, is control sustained breathing. And it's not just breathing or holding it or deep breathing. It's bre breathing deeply, holding it and then letting it out slowly. That's so that's the first thing. So playing the flute gets you doing that. Second, it's highly meditative. So when you play music, you have to relax and fo you have to relax and focus the mind. So all of those things that people say when as they begin to age in life, well, I can't focus anymore. I can't concentrate. So people who have ADD and they can't concentrate, there's a lot going on in music. It helps them concentrate. Or for adults, you know, it helps them focus when they, you know, they're starting to, to lose focus in life. And so music improves your concentration. And um, it's a mind-body connection kind of thing. There, so, you know, and there's also more. There's a social aspect to music. When you become proficient, you don't even have to be good. When you can come, become proficient, you can join a community band, a community band 
concert band or orchestra. And most of my adult students over the years, after they became good, I put them in little either community ensemble or I created a, a small ensemble for them to play in. And, you know, playing music with your friends is a lot of fun. So you can meet a lot of people playing music. You know, music does keep you young physically and music keeps you young uh, emotionally and it keeps your brain sharp uh, cognitively. A lot of good stuff. It wasn't until, you know, I really broke it down and started studying it that I realized all of the all of the stuff you're supposed to do every day but you don't do, music forces you to do it. All right, here we go. Next, C, once again, two more times and we'll move on to the next one. Great question, Gloria. Here we go. Once more, right away. Breathe. Wave to the audience. Here we go. Instruments up. next <laughs> relax the lips it's all about muscles okay two notes can you guys see the difference in the two notes and you know it's just a matter of finding which instrument that you like the best and then just sticking with it for a little bit it doesn't take long Papa Sunshine plays the record uh, the ukulele right now he's awesome at it and he's learning music theory. He's he's progressed quite a ways very quickly. All right, here we go. D. Rest, 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 rest. Four beats of rest. Then C. It's going to come down to C. And then rest. Up to D. Rest. And back down to C. D is open. Close, 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 thumb. C is closed. No thumb. Open, 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 open. And the baby finger. <clears throat> so it's tricky. C, D. Don't drop your flute. So first is D. Let's just practice it a couple of times before we play. So D. That's it, get a nice sound, D. Then down one note to C. Back up to D. back down to C. Everybody cool? Alright, let's rock it. Alright, just take a second, play through it, make sure you get it. You know, it's not a test. Unless you're getting tested. <laughs> it's not a test. <laughs> and so, alright, everybody cool? Alright, let's try and rock this one.
Now we'll slow it down. It's going to get a little tricky. Let's just have a look at this without the writing on the page. Let's take a moment and play through it. So, can you guys see this? Let me make this super big so I can see what it looks like on the big screen for everybody. Wow, the notes aren't coming through very clearly. So you're going to have to you're going to have to look at your book, your standards of excellence book, because the lines are a little thin on the music. They're not coming through clearly, unfortunately. So check out your book. This is number three in the book. Whole lot of counting. Let's play through the D, C, D, C. So the D, C, then D, then down to C. Alright, let's do it. Man, I love playing the flute. <laughs> so, hey, I'm not, am I live? Am I not live? My computer says I'm live, but I'm not seeing myself here. I think my computer's going a little bananas. Alright, let's keep going through. Alright, let's do it. Back to work. Nice and slow, D, C, D, C. It's just one second, let me pull it up here on the, sc on the screen. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> C. again. <clears throat> Once more. Technical difficulties. All right, once more. Here we go. D, C. Next, number four. What's number four? Hey, Katie, what's up? Grab your flute and play along. We're playing in the Standard of Excellence book today. All right, next notes, B flat. B flat on the flute looks like this. So this is B flat right there. And B flat is one, open, open, and the thumb. Then it's one, open, open, and the baby finger. This is open. And that's B flat. <clears throat> yeah, it's your birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Here we go. One and the thumb, open, open. First, so it's one and one. You 
guys got it? Can you guys make the sound? B flat? It's pretty easy. One and one. This is B. That's B flat. B, B flat. And the thumb, I put this thumb right in the center. On the right, it's B. On the left, it's B flat. But I put my thumb in the center because I go back and forth all the time. B, B flat. All right, let's rock. This is easy peasy. Easy peasy peasy. Just to remind everybody, I do teach privately. I teach privately in Toronto and Montreal. Just check it out at the sunnysidemusic.com. There's a link in the description box. Sunnysidemusic.com. Uh, also teach theory sax. I teach sax, flute, clarinet predominantly. A little bit of guitar and piano. And... Um, I prepare people for their conservatory exams, but you don't have to be that. You, you know, you don't have to go for your conservatory exams. But I do teach the conservatory exam for the woodwinds. There are not a lot of uh, teachers like me out there, but I do, <laughs> and I'm really proud of it. I teach in Toronto, and I teach in Montreal live, and I also teach over the internet. If you you know take lessons on Google Hangouts or Skype, and um, that's the action. <laughs> All right, let's rock through it. B flat. Again, we're going to play it slow because it's about muscles today. Later on, we'll progress and we'll pick, play it fast. The flute's about speed. It's supposed to be about speed. <laughs> okay, let's. But sound is the most important thing. The most important thing in music is to have a good sound. All right, here we go. B flat. B flat. You'll hear that there's a note in here that something in the computer is playing our note as well. We're going to try and match the pitch. And by pitch, I mean is the note in tune or not? Is it too high or too low? No, just bleh, try and match it. All right, here we go. Two more times. Shake out the lips. This is number four in the standard of excellence book, in the orange book, but red book. One and one, B flat. more here we go no breaks right back at it
keep peasy. Even a musician can do it. <laughs> so, all right, next. Okay, now we're going to shake it up a bit. Now it's going to get tricky. So rest the lips. Let's have a look at what we're going through today. Today, all right, here we go. So it's going to be D, then down to C, then down to B flat then up to C. And it's going to be rest in between. Rest, rest, rest. D is open, close, close, cl close, 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 and the thumb. C is closed, open, open. Open, open, open the baby finger and the thumb. And B flat is one, open, open, thumb. One, it's one and one. All right, let's play through it once. Let's just play it through it once before we play it with the band. So first is D. Then down to C. Then down one more to B flat. One and one. Then back up to C. Nice. Easy peasy. Once more. D. Down one to C. Down one more to B flat. Then up one to C. All right, let's do it. Okay, before we play through, just try and play it once without the music. So it's D, C, B flat, C. So D, it's two, three, one, two, three in the thumb. Two, three, one, two, three in the thumb. D. Then C, it's just the first finger. Then B flat, thumb, one and one, B flat. Then back up to C, which is just the first finger. Guys got it? Take a check, you know, just take a second, pause the video, play for yourself. You know, take a breath. D, C, B flat, C. Nice and relaxed. There's no cheating. Don't cheat. When you're ready, we'll play through it. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Instruments up. Flew to shake. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> D. Rest, B flat, one and one. Rest, back up to C.
Everybody got it? Did it make sense? You guys keep up? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. This is number five in the Standard of Excellence book. Number five. Mix them up. Here we go. <clears throat> D. Rest. Two. Three. C. Rest. B flat. One and one. up to C. Nice. All right, so this is for the lips. Now we're going to pick up the tempo a little bit. We're going to start pick it, picking up the tempo and wiggling the fingers a little bit. Here we go. Same thing, a little faster. <clears throat> D. Good job, guys. We're playing music, rocking through. Do do do. Let's see. Reminding everybody to tell all your friends. You know, music is more fun when you play it together. And to donate to the channel, of course, you can donate to the channel in the description box. Okay. And definitely subscribe to the channel on YouTube and to restream on Twitch. Here we go. C, then down to B flat, up to D. So there's no C in this one. There's no C here. See that? It skips C. C down to B flat, and then it's going to jump up to D, and then down one to C. And this is all rest in here. This little square thing is a rest. It means four beats of rest. C, once again, is first finger, open, open, no thumb, open, 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 and baby finger. B flat is one thumb, one and one is B flat, and D is open, close, 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 and the thumb. All right, let's play through this once before we try with the band. So C, B flat, D, C. Can you guys memorize that? C, B flat, D, C. Rest, then B flat, one and one. Then up to D. Then down to C. Some people think it's really good to memorize your music as soon as you can. You don't have to, you know, when... <clears throat> I'm the type of musician where my career is that I play with a different ensemble every night or a different orchestra or concert band or swing jazz band every weekend or at night. Like, I was the house saxophone player in Falconetti's for about two years. I, and the agent there used to put me to jam every other week with a different band so it's like the music was always different every time i went to work and so but but you know you try and learn the music as fast as you can <laughs> and so that's the action so let's try this one with c b flat then jumps to c or jumps to d and then c okay excuse me 
and that's why we analyze it like this. I know it's just the beginning, but it's why we take our pencil and we scribble all through the music to figure it out, and we analyze it so that we get the music inside of our brains and under our fingers as fast as possible. It helps. It really does. All right, let's do it. Next, let's play with the band. Now, before we play with the band, let's have a look. C, B flat, D, C. I had one of my teachers say that. I remember when I was at Humber, I walked in and we were studying rep development, and, which is learning a whole bunch of songs. And, you know, he was playing this song over and over again as he walked in, as we're coming in and we're sitting down. And he says, does everybody have this song memorized yet? And we're like, what? You know, it's right at the beginning, and it's the second year. And he says, you guys have been listening to the same song for the last 10 minutes. You should all have it memorized by now. We're like, what? <laughs> and so, anyways, so it's important to learn the music as fast as you can. All right, so let's check it out. <clears throat> C. B flat. D. C. And breathe. Pfft. All right, let's do it. Everybody cool? Let's do it. Let's rock it out. Make sure you got it. You can pause the video. Come back. Here we go. Nice and slow. B flat. Music's so much better when you know the song, you know, and you, you just feel what's going on. All right, let's do it again. Right away, nice and slow. C. Speed it up. Guys, ready? We're going to speed it up. <laughs> Relax the lips. Here we go. So we're in the Standard of Excellence book, the red book, and we're playing number six, Melting Pot. Here we go, a little faster. C. flat. Skip it up to D. Down to C. Nice. You guys cool? Just a couple more for today. So that's Melting Pot. Next. Man, I love this flute. Karen Zed got us this flute. She bought this flute for me. It was on my Amazon.com wish list. I absolutely love it. There's a link to the Amazon wish list in the description box, of course. I don't think there's anything on there. But, you know, we get by with the help of each other. But if you want to help support the channel, you can always donate via PayPal. would be great. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on in this one. The next one, Band on Parade. So this one is B flat, rest, 
up to C, rest, up to D, rest, and then it skips C, jumps right through C, and goes down to B flat. And B flat is one, open, open, and one, baby finger and thumb, C is one, and that's it. Open, 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 open. And D is open, close, closed, thumb, close, 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 and that's it. Going up, ascending, like we ascend or we climb a staircase. B flat. C, D, then we skip C and come back to B flat. All right, I'm rushing through because it's almost an hour on this video. <laughs> we have a couple more songs to play, but give it a shot. Make sure you can play it. See if you can memorize it. B flat, rest, C, rest, D, rest, B flat. Do, B flat, C, D, B, excuse me, B flat, B flat, C, D, Let's do it. B flat, C, D, B flat. Nice and relaxed, nice and slow. All right, breathe. Here we go. B flat, which is one and one. Let's play through it once without the, the music, without B flat, and C, then D, and B flat. All right, rest up, rest the lips. Here we go. B flat. Getting it? All right, a little faster. Let's try it again. B flat. Memorize it as soon as you can. <clears throat> So here we go.
breathe. Relax the lips. Here we go. B flat. So that was number seven, Band on Parade, from the Standard of Excellence book. All right, eight. All right, eight's pretty easy, seriously. It's D, C, B flat. But it's introducing a new concept here, and that's these little comma guys. These little comma guys are breath marks. That's where you're supposed to breathe in the music. Obviously, you can breathe here, and you can breathe here, but it's D, down to C, down to B flat. But we're going to breathe in between the notes. Once again, D is open, closed, 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 and the thumb. C is first finger, open, 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 baby finger no thumb and then B flat is one open open and one open open baby fingers of course and the thumb of course all right let's try and play it so two D's so it's gonna go <gasps> Now in music, make sure you breathe out before you breathe in. And the flute's not as difficult as some of the other instruments. Like it's tricky on the clarinet, but on the flute, we're always running out of air anyways on the flute. So, so it's like, but make sure you breathe out and then breathe back in. So D is. Then C. and B flat. Oh, my lips are getting tired. All right. D, C, B flat. Everybody got it? Remember, I do, if you're looking for private lessons in Toronto or Montreal live, then send me a message. Or I also teach online via Skype or Google Hangouts. And I help people with their conservatory exams as well as getting into university. Depends what you like. All right, let's do it. Everybody cool? Everybody ready? Have a look at the music before we start to play. D, D, rest. C, C, rest. B flat, B flat. Let's play it once before we add the band. <clears throat> okay, then C. And B flat. Oh, C, sorry. Let's do it again. I messed it up. D first. Then C, and B flat. Nice, all right, let's do it. A Breath of Fresh Air, number eight from the Standard of Excellence book. D.
let's fire it up a little faster. I like standard of excellence. All right, a little faster. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> nice, pretty long notes. Once more. Isabella, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. I'm just playing through some flute music for all the beginners flute players. No big deal. Almost done. Just two more songs to go for today and then we're going to cut it off for a day. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's great to see you. Alright, let's rock through this one. So we're going to play this one. It's a little tricky. See all these notes now? moves a little faster. D down to C. And D is open, closed, 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 and the thumb. C is one, open, 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 baby finger. Okay, D down to C, then we rest. Then it's C down to B flat. C is one, open, 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 baby finger. And then B flat, it's one, open, open, one. B flat is one and one, and the thumb, baby finger. Then we rest, and then C up to D. All right, let's play through it once. Just take a second and play through it. You know, memorize it if you can memorize it. D down to C. Oops, oops, getting my head full. D down to C. All right, D down to C. And C down to B flat. Then C up to D. So it's 
C, D, everybody cool? Let's try it again. D, C, C, B flat, C, D, D, C. C, D, all right, all right, no big deal. We can handle this, this we can handle. All right, have a look at the chart before we rock it out, before we play it, have a look once. Slow it down, D, C. Pause the video, slow it down. <clears throat> D, C. C, B flat. C, D. Right, here we go. Everybody ready? Breathe, relax. Here we go. Out, then in. D, C. <clears throat> hey, what happened to the band? Let's try it again. So right now we're playing number nine in the Standard of Excellence book. That's the red book. All right, speed it up a little. Relax the lip. <laughs> Lips getting tired. All right, we've been playing for an hour, almost an hour and a half. Here we go. Again, D, C. <clears throat> Okay, a little faster. Let's do it. Right away. Let's do it. All right. Relax. Stretch. Waved everybody. Let's do it. <clears throat> Once more. Last time.
right, that was number nine in the red book. Standard of excellence, side by side, number nine. All right, last one for today. All right, this is going to be a little trickier. Well, they're always getting a little trickier here. Let's analyze it first. So we're going to play C up to D. One finger, open, 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 baby finger. D is open, closed, 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 and the thumb. C to D, then it's going to go, then four beats rest, then it's D down to C. Everybody got that? C, D, D, C. So C, D. Rest, then D, C. C, D, D, C. Then rest. Then D down to B flat. And B flat is one and one. One, open, open, one. Open, open. Baby finger and thumb. So the last bar, last two bars, are D to B flat. So it's C, D. So the whole song is C, D. Then a rest in D, C. And then D down to B flat. All right, give it a shot. Last one for today. Number 10 in the Standard of Excellence book. Two by two. Give it a shot. Let's take a moment. You know, it's not a competition. It's not a contest. Just take a moment. Blow through the chart. Make sure you got understand how the song works. Do re mi do re mi C D C D D C D B flat C D D, C, D, B flat. <laughs> C, C, D, D, C, D, B flat, D, B flat. song like that a long time ago. It was on saxophone. Whatever. I'll play it for you guys on my sax movie saxophone. Or, or when I remember how it goes. Alright, here we go. Do do do. Okay, let's play without the music first. So, you know, we take the cheat sheet away. Let's see if we can still handle the song. Remember, I do teach privately. Check out the sunnysidemusic.com. I teach privately in Montreal and Toronto. I switch back and forth every week. I go back and forth, Toronto and Montreal. The sunnysidemusic.com. And uh, also I teach over Skype and, and all that kind of stuff. I teach over the internet as well. So C, D, D, C, D, B flat.
Yeah, that's it. All right, whatever, whatever. Let's play the song. Everybody ready? Let's slow it down and rock out. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I really like playing with you, music with you guys. Remember, you play music. Music's supposed to be fun. It's always a beautiful day to be beautiful. But it's together that makes it a beautiful day. On top of all of that, there's only one rule in music, and it's always play pretty music no matter what. That's the action. All right, here we go. Everybody breathe instruments up. Let's rock this one out. Sit up straight, breathe deep, wave to the audience. No focus. All right, let's do it. Breathe out. Let's do it. C. pretty good all right let's speed it up everybody ready we're gonna pick up the pace get ready here we go almost ready to gig CD same thing <laughs> done for today it's almost an hour and a half that's a long lesson for today it's, but this is the first five the first uh, bunch of notes in each of the book it's kind of important to get it under your fingers get used to the instrument make some sound it's an important lesson you guys might want to play through these beginner lessons uh, I'm gonna play through the beginner lessons of um, a bunch of the books it's um, I think it's a good idea to go through as a warm-up all right on my lessons, when you study privately with me, we do a lot of warm-up. Because it's about muscles. The muscles have to be strong. The hands have to be good. Buddy has to be good. <sighs> All right, guys. Let's do the last song of the day. All right. You know, if I could recommend something, I'd, I'd make sure now make sure you clean your instrument. Right? Instruments are expensive. Make sure you clean it before you put it away. If I may recommend something, I'd recommend that you um, make sure you don't scratch the instruments with your rings. I'd recommend that you memorize your music as soon as possible. You know, taking your eyes off the music is it's a big deal. It's like it liberates you musically. It's it's a big deal. Anyways. Once again, I'm Sunny. Thanks for spending the afternoon with me. I really had fun playing some music with you. Let's just go back and have a look at some of the things we that's going on here. So, that's me. That's my little Sunny Sider. If you want one of these Sunny Side uh, hoodies, sweatshirts or tees, one of these Sunny Side hoodies, then you just go 
right there. It's in the description box, the astroside.com. This is Sunnyside 2.0 for all the next generation Sunnysiders out there, for all the next generation rock and roll Sunnysiders out there. Mm -hmm. And it comes in a different, bunch of different colors. And all right, well, that's Sunnyside 2.0. <laughs> and so that's where you get all your Sunnyside stuff. Also, please support the channel. There's a PayPal donation box or pay a link to pay to donate on PayPal in the description box. Please help support the channel. You can buy some of this really cool stuff here on theastroside.com. We're sponsored by the Astro Side. On top of all of that, one of my websites, the sunnyside.net, also sponsors us. There's more about me here. This is me playing soprano sax, just kicking around, do do do, having fun, some of me on in the news, you know, being interviewed on TV when I was younger. Spent a lot of time on TV when I was younger. And finally, the sunnysidemusic.com. This is us. And again, there's a link in the description box below. This is some of the stuff. I mean, we have over 45 subs now, but for, like we have a lot of subs and you know, a lot of people know about us and it's a lot of fun. This is where you go for the flute lessons. This is what we did today. You can go to the clarinets here. Do, do, do. The essential elements stuff is there. The ukulele jams are here. All the stuff's here. And you can contact me here. Some of my sax videos are here. I don't know. This is uh, just some stuff I did for fun for you guys. Some music that I've recorded. I did the Chubby Bunny Challenge. Whatever. <laughs> you know, have a little bit of fun and play a little music as you go along. And that's the action. And that's the action. I hope everyone has a, had an amazing day today. I hope everyone had a f lot of fun. Remember, it's always a beautiful day to be beautiful, but it's together that makes it a beautiful day. Music's supposed to be fun. You play music together. And that's the action. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> and that's the action. All right, time to get out of here. Hope everybody's lips are good. Make sure you clean your instrument. Make sure you tell your friends. You know, make sure you jam. You can play along with me and your friends. And that's the action. With that, from the sunny side.net, I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the absolute best of a super beautiful day. And I'll see you guys soon.